What up, what up? Wimbush here. And today I'm excited to show you guys my workflow for bringing motion capture data into Unreal Engine. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. So before I bring in my motion capture data in the Unreal Engine, I first got to record some motion capture data. So over on my left hand side here, you see I have my Z book. Everything is moving because I have everything calibrated already. And so the next step from here, I'm actually just going to come over hit the record button and then I'm just going to go back, do something super simple. <laughs> there we go. And now I'm actually going to stop this like, so I'm going to click save on here and I'll let that save out. Now the next step from here, I actually want to go in and HD process this footage. So it's going to do any cleanup that it needs to do. So I'm going to jump back over here to my Z book and we're going to export out this FBX data. So my first step from here, I'm actually going to come over and just open up that session there. And once I open it up, you can see that we have this blue bar down here already starting to move up and that's actually starting to do some HD processing. So if I click on these gears here, you can see that the HD processing is already going up. By default, it has it on slow, which is gonna give us the best results. If I click on this, you can see that we could do it faster if we need to get that data out faster, but I wanna get the best results that we could get. So I'm gonna leave it on HD slow, and I'm just gonna let this play out. Okay, so now it looks like everything is done. So I'm gonna click close here. I'm just gonna go through, hit play. Let me scroll in here, move it around a little bit. Let me select the piece on here so I can move it around. There we go. So that looks good to me. So what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to left click inside of my timeline here into a place that I want to start. So let's say maybe around here. So I'm going to left click, drag all the way over to the right until I get to the end of my footage. So I could probably end right about there. And so from here, I'm actually going to export out just this selection here. And so I'm going to come over to file, come down to export, and I'm going to export out selection. So from here, I'm actually going to make a new folder. And I'm going to name this one UE5, like so. Select the folder. And then for my session here, I'm just going to name this one new session UE5, like so. And then I'm going to show more options. And I'm going to leave this on where it says overwrite first frame for T-pose. And then walk on the spot. I'm actually going to leave that off because I want my character to be walking around. I don't want to have them locked to the zero axis point inside of my world there. So from here, I'm just going to click export and let this export out. So the next step from here, I'm actually going to rig up my character inside of Mixamo. And so I do have the Iron Man character from the Fortnite game. And so to get started, I'm going to come over here. I'm at Mixamo.com. I'll leave the link down into the comments down there. But I want to come over to upload character. So from here, I'm actually going to go to my Windows Explorer, take my Iron Man character, drag him, drop him in the hair and wait for it to upload. OK, and it looks like Iron Man is all ready to go. So from here, I'm going to click next. And then I'm just going to put these into the appropriate places. So I'm going to left click and drag this under chin like so. Then I'm going to take this joint, put it onto the wrist, take this joint, put it onto the elbow, take these ones and put them on the knees. And then the last one, you're going to put it in the groin area. So once you're done, you're just going to click next from here and then you're going to wait for it to rig everything up. And that's going to take a few minutes, but once it's done, you can see your character moving around like so. So it looks like we're good to go from here. So I'm going to click on next and then I'm going to click next again. And then we should see our character inside of our viewport. Now the character is automatically going to be in the T pose, but what I'm going to do is actually go over to animation and select the T pose there because that T pose seems to work a lot better than the one that's here by default. So if I come over here to animations and then I'm going to inside my search bar here, just click on T and that should automatically have a T pose in the top left hand corner. Now I have my T pose on my character again, but this time it's using the animation T pose. I'm not sure what the difference is, but this is the one that seems to work. So from here, I'm just going to click on download and that's going to bring up our download settings and I'm going to leave it at FBX. I like working at 60. I'm not sure if it makes a difference for T pose, but I put it at 60 anyway with skin and none on the keyframe reduction. 
So from here, I'm just going to click on download. And while this is downloading, I'm going to open up Cinema 4D because I like combining my character information with my motion capture animation inside of Cinema 4D. And then from there, I bring it into Unreal Engine 5. And once it's done downloading, you're going to have this file here called T-Pose in which I could just name this one Iron Man UE5 T-Pose like so. And then I'm just going to click and drag this into Cinema 4D in which I'm using the latest version S26. So I'm just going to hit OK. And now you can see we have our Iron Man character inside of Cinema. So from here, I'm just going to select these two right here. So I have my mix and mode skeleton and my mesh here for the character. I'm going to come over to object and I'm going to group both of these objects together. And I'm just going to name this one Iron Man like so. And then what I want to do is I want to grab the FBX data that I collected when I was doing my motion capture and everything and drag that into Cinema 4D. So I'm going to go back down to Windows Explorer. And this is my session that I caught there on my XN suit. So I'm just going to click and drag that into Cinema 4D. I'm going to click OK. And now we can see we have our motion capture data inside of Cinema 4D. So from here, what I'm going to do is actually select this right here. This is my XN skeleton. I'm going to click on object right here. Come down here to group object. And I'm just going to name this one mocap like so. And then what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to start up a new project because I'm just going to combine everything together in a new project file here. So I'm just going to click the plus symbol here, or if you want to come over to file new project, same thing. So I'm going to go back over to my Iron Man character and I'm just going to hit edit and copy, bring it over to my new project file, paste it. Just going to click on yes for everything here with all the different texture points and everything. And I'm going to scroll back or if I hit O on my keyboard, is actually going to lock it right into the center there, like so. Then I'm going to go back over to where I have my motion capture data. I'm going to select this, hit edit, come down to copy. Same thing inside of my objects panel here. And now I have my mocap data in here. So the next step from here, I'm going to go to the character definition tag to extract all the data from the mix of skeletal joints. So to do that, I'm going to make sure I have Iron Man selected here. I'm going to come over to tags. I'm going to come down here to rigging tags. And then right here where it says character definition, click on this. And then from here, I'm going to go down here under the attributes panel to where it says open manager. So I'm going to click on this, come over here to where it says extract skeleton. And now you can see that I actually put all the joints in the places it needs to be. So if I select down, you can see I have my hips inside of my hips. I have all the spline joints where it says spline. Same thing for my arm. It has all the joints for the arm, et cetera, et cetera. And so you can manually go through and put these in if you want. But if you're using a Mixamo rig, it should automatically pick everything up. So I'm actually going to exit this out now. And I'm going to come down to my mocap data and do the same thing. So come over to tags. Come over here to where it says rigging tags, character definition. Same thing. Come down here to open manager. And I'm going to extract all the data there. Then I'm going to close this out. And then I'm going to come back up here to my Iron Man and where it has my character definition tag. Make sure I have this selected. And down here in the lower right hand corner, we should see a button right here that says create a solver. So what this is going to do is once I click it, it's going to add this guy that's in motion. And that means that any mocap data, we could click and drag it into here to be able to combine the two together. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to left click and hold on this little character definition tag on my mocap data and drag that down here to where it says character source. And I'm going to drag this out on my timeline. And then I'm going to actually hit control D. Just make sure I'm working at 60 frames per second, like so. Drag this up a little bit. Everything else should be good there. Then I'm going to click on my render settings here. Make sure that I'm working at 60 in here as well. Then I could probably even make this 1920 by 1080 because we're going to bring this over to Unreal Engine. So there we go. So I'm at 1080, 60 frames per second. I want to make sure I have all frames on here and we should be good to go. So now if I click play, you can see my character. He's doing the flexing move and everything. Let me scroll in here a little bit. There we go. And I know that we have my textures are a little bit soft here in the viewport. So if I come down here and I double click on my material here and actually come down here to viewport, I can make these 4K for inside the viewport here like so. So now we have a better idea of how our textures are going to look and everything. 
So let's say that we're happy with how everything turned out here inside of Cinema 4D, combining the two together. The next step from here is bringing it to Unreal Engine. And so I'm gonna make sure that I have my Iron Man character only selected. So you wanna select him right here. You don't wanna make sure you have the mocap one selected as well. This is very important. You wanna have just Iron Man selected right here or whatever character you have. I'm gonna come over here to File. You can then come down here to Export. And then I'm gonna export out an FBX file. So inside of my export settings right here, you're gonna just leave it at version 7.7, .7, which is the latest and greatest, 2019. And the one that you really wanna make sure you have selected is right here where it says selection only. So remember when I have only my Iron Man character selected inside of my objects panel here, this is why. Because I wanna make sure that I have only the stuff that's selected being exported out to Unreal Engine. I want nothing else selected there. And so from here, I wanna come down here to animation come down here to tracks, make sure that's selected, bake all my materials, and we should be good. So I'm gonna click okay from here, and then let me find a folder to put it. I guess I'll just put it in here. I'm just gonna name this one, Iron Man underscore UE5, and then I'm just gonna click save. And it's easy as that. So the next step from here, I'm actually gonna open up Unreal Engine 5, and then we're just gonna click and drag our Iron Man character into our scene. So if you have Unreal Engine 5 open, this is what it's gonna look like. What I like to use is the, the film video and live events template right here. And I'm gonna select blank. I'm gonna turn ray tracing on, and then I'm gonna hit create like so. And give us a second to load everything up. And now we have Unreal Engine 5 opened up. And so I'm gonna close my movie render queue here hit update like so and this is just going to be for tutorial sake so i'm not going to do anything too crazy here inside of my viewport i could probably put my light source on movable so what i'm going to do now is right here under my content browser i'm going to right click and i'm going to make a new folder i'm just going to name this one character like so and then i'm going to come over here to my windows explorer like so and I'm gonna click and drag the one that I just exported out from Cinema. So this one right here, Iron Man underscore UE5. I'm gonna select this and drag it into here. And that's gonna bring up my FBX import options. And so from here, where it says import animations, make sure I have that selected. I'm gonna leave it on exported time. And that should be it. I don't think there's anything else in here that we need to select. And then I'm just gonna click import all. And I'm gonna allow this to import. Okay, so it looks like everything imported. I'm just gonna exit out this message log here. Now, if I look down here inside of my content browser, you can see I have everything dragged over. I have my materials, I have my textures, I have my mesh right here, and then I have the animation as well. So this one that has like this little pink line here, I'm just gonna click and drag this into my scene and actually just bring them on zero axis here and double click on them. He's a little bit large. I should have probably scaled him down inside of Cinema 4D, but it should be fine. So from here to get the animation to play, I'm actually gonna bring this into a sequencer. And so to do that, I'm gonna click on this little clipboard here, select add level sequence like so. And then I'm just gonna leave it at default. I mean, it's just for a tutorial. Just click on save. And now that brings up the sequencer. So in order to get the animation to our character, it's as easy as coming over to the Iron Man character, clicking and dragging it into our sequencer here. Make sure that I have my FPS at 60, like so. So right here, you wanna make sure you have 60. And then under animation, under my Iron Man UE5, where it says animation here, you wanna click on the plus symbol, and then you wanna select the animation that you have. And you see that he actually went sideways there. I'm not sure why it did that. And so what I typically do is I just rotate it on my X axis right here. So if I do 90, now he should be where he needs to be. So let me zoom in here a little bit so we can see him better. There we go. So let me click play. So now we have our Iron Man doing what he needs to do. And let's say that you didn't want to use the sequencer, like maybe you're, you have a game or something like that, and you want to have the characters just having an animation within your game. It's as easy as, let me actually delete this like so. I'm going to turn off my sequencer, back up a little bit here on my Iron Man character. And so if I come down here to my details panel, where it says animation mode, if I click on this, where it says use animation blueprint and use animation asset, then right here where it says animation to play, select on none, and this is where all your mocap data would be. So if I select this 
and then I click play and let me scroll back a little bit you can see you know he's extremely large in here again and he's sideways and so actually let me go back here come back to Iron Man my rotation bring him up to 90 click play again and let me scroll back in my game so we have like giant Iron Man in here like so but you know it is what it is next time <laughs> I'll make sure I scale up currently before I bring them in but that's how you would have it playback in your live game whenever you have a game going so hopefully this helped you guys out again my workflow was going from Mixamo to Cinema 4D bring everything together export from there to Unreal Engine and you should be good to go so this will work with any motion capture data that you have of course I'm using my x suit with my Manus gloves to bring everything together and it worked out fine so if you found this informational, of course, leave me a comment down below. Leave me a big thumbs up. It helps with the algorithm. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And until next time, stay fresh, keep creating, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. i see you soon. Take care. What up, what up? Wimbush here.